Hello everybody and welcome again to the Geek Corner Minute. And uh, as I'm sure y'all probably heard the news this past week or have those of you who have seen the movie um, Batman vs. Robin, they're about to come out with another, yet another um, um, straight to DVD Justice League animated movie. This will probably be the third Justice League movie in a row since Flashpoint, since um, Justice League um, Flashpoint Paradox. Or should I say, uh, and more so since Justice League um, War. This has been the third straight Justice League movie, and I'm not counting Flashpoint Paradox because that's still that's more of a Flash story than a Justice League story. But this will be the the third straight Justice League story. But uh, what makes this one so different? This is going to be a parallel reality Justice League. In which, to tell you the truth, the characters as you know them are not going to be the characters that you know. I mean, they ain't even going to be New 52, for that matter. Um, it's going to be the son of General Zod is going to be Superman. It's going to be the grim, dark, almost like, from what I've seen a picture, battle-hardened son of General Zod is going to be Superman. Um, Batman is going to be Kurt, a vampire-like Kurt Langstrom. Not Bruce Wayne, Kurt Langstrom, also known as Man Bat. And Wonder Woman is going to be um, one of the new gods of the of the um, the Jack Kirby New Gods characters. And also the, I will say, either separate, uh, the estranged wife of Orion. And, uh, and as I probably as you probably get get from this, they're not going to be acting like the Justice League as you know. It's going to be called Justice League Gods and Monsters, um, and just from that name, almost looks like it's going to be something completely different. But um, I'm gonna just say it right now. I have a big problem with this movie, and that being, I mean, I know this is a parallel reality and everything, but. There is not even an inkling of this even being a Justice League movie. It's even, it's even being the Justice League. I know Bruce and I know Bruce Tim made this movie and everything, but um, I'm just not. I'm not feeling this. I mean, this isn't the Justice League. This ain't even the Crime Syndicate. This is just. Characters that vaguely even that just have the name slapped on them and very bear, bear the most vague of resemblances to these characters. I mean, and I say, what in the world? I mean, pardon me for a second. Um, sorry about that. Um, my phone made a racket. Um, but I just don't feel this. I don't feel this at all. I said, and, I, and I know there's a lot of other folks that agree out there, this isn't the Justice League. It's like every day that DC does something, they go further and further away from this even being the characters that we even know or and or love. I mean, first you got the New 52, which about, uh, completely obliterates what you know about them, but leaves the vaguest hint of what they are. Leave just a vague hint of who they look, who they're of their look behind, but none of the attitude. Though they do try to, they they almost look like they tried to incorporate, it, but they still act like complete complete backwards of what we know the characters ought to be. And now you've got this, uh, and um, lest I forget, what they're supposed to look and probably act like post convergence. You're um. You just got out of the gym, Superman. Your um, Robo Batman of the uh, the Gotham City Police Department. Your um, Wonder Woman that almost don't even look Amazonian. To tell you the truth, she looks more like Big Barda, as I saw one person making. And she looks like Big Barda. That's what she looks like in this movie. Essentially, in this movie, she is Big Barda. Essentially, one Diana is Big Barda. Essentially, Superman. Looks like some, he looks almost like a version of um, Deadshot that I've seen before. And Batman looks like they're trying to cross up two versions of Batman with um, Kirk Langstrom. And I'm going to say it, this is not the Justice League. I don't want to stress this enough, this is not the Justice League. I mean, the last time I saw a Zod that was Superman, 
um, a, or a son of Zod that was Superman. It was Earth-15, and he acted like and even dressed like Superman. But this is not him at all. This looks like, to tell you the truth about the character design, it looks like Vandal Savage from the Justice League series. From the Justice League animation. It looks just like Vandal Savage. And I'm going to say, this isn't... I mean, they could have alternate realities all day long, but this... It'd be one thing if it was a Justice League going into this world and investigating this world like this, but this is what the whole movie is focusing around is these alternate Justice League characters. And they make it sound like almost like it's supposed to be based on the New 52's Earth 2. Which makes it even worse. I mean, this, I mean, like I said, I'm going to say it, this is disgusting. It's just further more DC throwing the characters into the gutter to me. It's just further more just throwing them in the gutter. And I'm going to say it, this has got to stop. It's got to stop. It's like they're trying to go ver veer as far away from the original source material as they possibly can. It's like Dan Didio was saying somebody, it said storytelling, a new era of storytelling in which storytelling trumps continuity. In other words, DC is going to be nothing but fan fiction. They're going to completely obliterate. They're on a, they have been on mission for years and now they're even worse than ever to obliterate the original source material so it can make everything up as they go along. They like they have just the vaguest hint of the original and everything else is something they made up off the top of their head. And same with this. This goes right along with it. Why would you want to focus an entire story on a Justice League team that don't even look like Justice League? I mean, there are parallel universes which they don't look like this, but but that's I mean, that ain't like the, the whole, the, the, like there's a whole movie focused on it or something. I mean, it, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not down with this, you know. I'm just not down with it. And I'm not going to be. I'm going to say, I'm, a, I'm, I mean, I love multiverse, I love parallel realities, and I wouldn't mind this being a parallel reality, but still... This is going to be the focus. They're going to completely veer away from everything they've been doing and, and start doing this and not even have a hint of anything else. And to me, it's just disgusting. But what do y'all think? Do y'all agree with me on this? Do, would you want to see this movie? Um, Let me know. And as always, drop me a comment in the comment box. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what y'all had to say on this subject. And I guess that's all for this Geek Corner Minute. Um, as always, if you have any questions whatsoever about the show, drop me a comment in the comment box. Um, like, subscribe, share with all your friends, tell all your friends. Um, go check out the newest episode of um, Mr. J's Geek Corner posted yesterday. It's my um, list of my top 10, top 12 favorite um, video games of all time. Um, sure y'all enjoy that. I know, I know it was fun to make, definitely. So, um, and y'all have any comments about uh, any ideas or you know, things you want to hear me talk about on the show? Drop me a comment in the comment box. I'm always looking for fresh new things to talk about on the show. So definitely drop me a comment, drop your ideas in the comment box. I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear your ideas. And I'll see y'all later.